Remember AirDrop? You know, the feature Apple released back in iOS 7 that lets you easily transfer files between iPhones, iPads, and Macs? Well, it's still around and it's actually gotten really good. And it's worth checking out if you haven't in a while. Hey guys, Rex here with iDrop News, and this is everything you need to know about using AirDrop. So, AirDrop uses Bluetooth to broadcast and discover and connect to devices and then takes advantage of point-to-point Wi-Fi to transfer data. This makes AirDrop one of the fastest and most secure methods for quickly moving files from one Apple device to another. And you can use AirDrop to transfer just about anything, like photos, videos, contacts, and even map locations. Just about everything that shows up on the share sheet you can send via AirDrop. So, how do you get started? Well, open up Control Center, make sure both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are turned on, and then tap AirDrop. You have three options. Allow everyone to send you items through AirDrop, only contacts, or you can turn it off altogether. While the contacts option is a bit more secure, it definitely requires more work. Both you and the person you want to AirDrop with both have to be logged into iCloud and be in each other's contacts. Using everyone is easier, but it does mean random people you don't know can send you an airdrop. Of course, you have to accept it, but you do get a small thumbnail if someone shares an image with you. However, I've kept the everyone option on for years, and I've never had a prank airdrop sent to me, but it is something to keep in mind. So you can airdrop files from any iPhone or iPad app that includes the built-in share sheet, which these days includes most everything. Once you've found a file you want to airdrop, just tap the share button on the bottom of your screen, and then in the share sheet, you will see the name and devices of people available for you to share with. From here, simply tap the person you want to share the file with. It really is that simple. Well, what about sending something from the Mac? Surely that's a lot more complicated, right? Well, not really. Airdrop essentially operates the same way on the Mac. You can access Airdrop by opening up Finder, and you will see AirDrop has its own dedicated section under Favorites. Once you click that, the option to switch between everyone, contacts, and turning the feature off is at the bottom of the window. After you make sure AirDrop is turned on, you do have multiple ways to share a file through AirDrop on the Mac, but all of them are relatively easy. Personally, I usually use the context menu for sending things through AirDrop on the Mac. To do this, once you've selected a file you want to share, Control click, two finger click, or however you have that option set up on your Mac, and then find the AirDrop option. Just like on iOS, you will then see pictures of people available to be shared with. Again, just click on the person you want to share that file with, and that's it. You can also use the Share button on the Mac. It's similar to using the context menu, but once you've selected a file you want to share, click the Share button, and here you can find AirDrop as well. The other method on the Mac is to use drag and drop to airdrop a file. If you want to go this route, just grab a file, or files, you can share more than one file at a time by the way, and hover that file over airdrop in the sidebar. Wait until Finder changes to the airdrop window, and then you can drop the file on top of the picture of the person you want to share with. Well, all right, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, Stay locked right here to iDrop News for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.